Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Isle of Man in the UK. This is John and Mike's MMA Corner. I am joined right now by Samuel Ace Samples. Sir, you're fighting up on the upcoming Valor Fights card on 27th February. Firstly, thank you for joining us. And secondly, how's everything going with you in general then? How are you feeling? How's training camp feel? Are you in good spirits? Yeah, man. So great. Uh, definitely. You know, last weekend was my anniversary. This this weekend was Valentine's Day. I've really been able to deal with training and taking care of my family at the same time. It's been very non-stressful. Um, training's gone great, man. I've really, really kicked into gear with my Taekwondo. I've <clears throat> worked on a lot of different things, but obviously never really getting away from my hands. Uh, I feel good. I feel really, really confident moving in this fight. Coming off of a loss. So like you know, I'm really anxious to get back in the center and get my hand raised. Now, like you said, there you're anxious to get back in there. Sometimes though, it is good to step away for a little bit because some guys want to rush in to get a, get a win straight away. But maybe there is a hole in your game that was exposed, or maybe sometimes guys you can catch. Sometimes it's good to step away, have a little bit of time to maybe rectify why it went wrong, and then go back in a little bit more prepared. Definitely, man. I, 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 uh, my last fight, my last outing was I got caught early and really, really got put on deer's legs. So this fight camp, I really focused a lot more on my defense and my movement. Um, I, it feels good to just kind of step away every now and then. You know, you, you take a loss, you, you step back, you look at things, you figure out what changes you need to be making in your camp, where you need to make some lifestyle changes. I mean, it really it helps a lot. And going back into this fight camp, I was very, very confident. I'm able to look at it head on with a smile and know that get in there and put forth the efforts that I've been putting forth in the camp and I'll be fine. Now your opponent, uh, T.C. Coleman, do you know much about your opponent yourself Do you, or have you left that to your coaches to basically research and break him down for you? I mean, I've looked into him a little bit. I've watched his fights, I've studied him, I've broken him down, but uh, I really just hand a lot of that over to my wife and my teammates and let them really study and have their own perspective on what's going on. Uh, I don't, I haven't really seen anything from CT in his previous videos that I feel a major threat to me in any single aspect of martial arts. So I mean, I feel I feel pretty good as far as video review, just being able to see the things I see about him online. I don't see him posting a whole lot of training videos or anything like that. So that, that may be his strategy. Now you mentioned that your wife looks at video. What people won't know, I. Uh, believe your wife competes as well doesn't she yes Ashley is uh, quite a monster she just won the female fighter of the year this year she's got that two years running um, she's held several titles kickboxing and MMA she'll be looking to make her we're looking now to <clears throat> figure out where we're going to go with her pros make a smart decision there I mean she's, she's lost to some of the toughest girls in the country and she can really hold those, those losses high she's definitely definitely a monster at 115 pounds now, for any man out there, that must seem like the perfect woman, someone who competes as well. You know, it's any MMA fighter out there, it's kind of what we look for. But does do you find that relationship then, it's it's based, I imagine, the fact that you're married, you know, you love each other, there's a trust matter. You must then take what you both say to each other. You know, you must listen to each other a lot. You must take it all in and accept it as the truth you know they must you must be able to criticize each other to a to a level where you both admit to accepting what what you've said it definitely is uh, me and Ashley we work at the same job and then we train all together as uh, any other time now we were literally never really apart so it helps and it hurts but you know fortunately the arguments that her and I really have mostly are about inside of training you know, getting too comfortable as a spouse inside of our gym and, and really kind of showing an attitude or showing frustration the way we shouldn't. And that's really when you break it down and you think about it, for that to really be the only obstacles a marriage has, it's pretty, pretty kick-ass. It's pretty awesome. And <laughs> not to mention she gets punched me in the face two or three days out of the week and I get to do the same. So, I mean, it, it, it works itself out. of it. A lot of people, I think, couldn't handle the stress of constantly being around their spouse. But... Me and Ashley are a pretty solid team. We hit it head on. Do you know what? There's some people that 
can work like my best friend is married and he he is like that him and his missus apart from work they work two different jobs but other than that they are they were literally they're literally tired at the hip you know it's hard to get them apart but yeah so i i exactly i know exactly where you're coming from with that side some people though are complete opposites and they can't wait wait to get away from their spouse and they'll jump away for a few hours if they can but do you know what if it works it doesn't matter and yeah so the fact that you you train together you know you break each other each other's opponents down and, and do you find though that maybe that helps you develop a bit quicker then because you're constantly talking to each other in a sense of you're always around each other do you feel that you're always analyzing each other's game because you want the best for each other so i'd imagine you both break each other down a lot more than you would do let's say if it was just a casual teammate Yeah, it definitely, like, <clears throat> you know, most, most couples kind of play fight a lot of times. Mm. Well, Ashley and I will play fight and immediately have a, a full-on conversation after we're done for those two or three seconds of play fighting about, hey, this is what I noticed you did wrong, and this is what I could have got you with. It, it definitely, it, it's a little bit different. Have you thought about maybe going to a, a different gym just for a little bit for, just to have a different... I, I, I say like not like not, not local gym maybe even just go a little bit further away for a week to try another gym out and come back and then see how maybe the two of you are then uh, in a the sense if you pick anything up you try stuff out anything like that yeah I mean that's definitely something we've thought about I mean right now we, we are both kind of hitting the, the taekwondo outlook together but separate I mean that's where we that's where we run our fight team at and Curtis Barnett's really honestly one of the best Taekwondo instructors if not the best in the Southeast and, and as a fighter he's got Olympic status I mean he's definitely a monster so me and Ashley are both kind of looking at that even though it's in the same place with our own perspective of it and, but definitely I mean we need to go we need to look out and search and, and find new sparring partners and we're always always game to go check out a new gym just really depends on what's going our way yeah, because I'd imagine, especially for your partner, because she's a female, she'd need to find female partners to spar with. So I'd imagine there's not as many around as there would be, for example, yourself to find sparring partners. Yeah, definitely. It's much easier for me to find sparring partners than it is for Ashley. I mean, we literally have to probably get in the car and, and travel for the extensive way to find a good, solid 115 that we, we know we could trust inside of fight camp and not try to have an ego about it or anything like that and really get some solid work in so do you corner each other then during the fights or do you try to maybe yep. keep yourself separate from that nope we're there sitting around by the cage <laughs> uh, do you then obviously because do you find that it's easy to uh, detach yourself from that emotional side of things I'd imagine it makes it it might have an effect on the kind of technical aspect when you're trying to break down that round you don't want to come in there and think, oh, no, my missus just got cracked, or vice versa. Do you find that you're able to handle that kind of, you know, emotional attachment? Yeah, a lot of times, you know, I, I, people are like, man, well, you, you really you really talk to Ashley very, very not nice, very <laughs> asshole -ish. And I'm like, you know, a lot of people don't understand this. <clears throat> At the end of the day, my wife has to come home to not only me, but my children, and I have to make sure that I can avoid them seeing mommy really beat up. I have mm. to know that, you know, that's my wife, and I would much rather upset a bunch of fans and a bunch of people on the outside because they think I'm being mean to Ashley, when in all reality, I need Ashley to understand something. I need her to understand she doesn't need to get hurt. And a lot of people just really, they never grasp that concept. There's a reason when me and Ashley spar that I really, really put it on her, and that's simply because I don't need somebody else that doesn't care for her the way that I do yeah. trying to do it. They may not stop when need be. I, I know when Ashley's hurt. I know when Ashley's making mistakes that she shouldn't be making. I know when she's not in the right place mentally. And it's the exact same way turned around. She knows exactly where I should be mentally in my training in every aspect of my life, with my job, with our finances. And she understands those things and she puts forth the effort to make sure that it's done. And a lot of people really don't understand, you know, there's a reason we have such a awesomely violent relationship and it's because we don't need anybody else trying to go out there and hurt our spouse more than we could 
do inside of the gym. Yeah. And actually goes in there every time with that mentality of, you know, this is not Ace, this is not my husband, this is just another girl who weighs 115 pounds, and I need her to move, and I need to get out of this cage safely. Well, that's the thing, yeah, exactly. It's okay for us to have a me- for us blokes to have a messed up face because it gives us character. Girls like we t- we tell yeah. we tell ourselves girls like a scar, but we don't with the women. Let's keep them, let's keep them looking pretty. For us, it doesn't matter. We're fine. <laughs> yeah, we'll deal with it. It'll be alright. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I got a yeah. nice full beard, so it hides a lot of the. Yeah, we'll just say yeah. we'll just say ten ninjas jumped yeah. out on us, and that's that's all they left. That's the only mark they got. You should have seen that the rest of them didn't make it. <laughs> That's the great thing about being a bloke. Now, Samuel, look, TC Coleman, yourself going to throw down at this final fight. It seems that uh, from what I've been speaking to with the CEO, Tim, they're going to be signed up with Fight Pass very shortly. You know, fingers crossed this might be the, on the Fight Pass card, but it's it's awesome if it does get the de- it gets a deal through that it'll be on UFC Fight Pass because the exposure they can get for yourselves, it's huge on, on a level that you... You know, it's hard to get through on regional shows. I see Fight Pass as a really big, making a big impact on the regional scene with signing up, up with all these promotions. It must excite, you know, fighters like yourself, knowing that maybe stuff like this is coming along. Yeah, I mean, definitely, 100%. Uh, Tim Loy it, it puts on one hell of a promotion. I feel like the world doesn't know enough about it as it is. But to be able to get on there, even with the slim possibility that it could be on Fight Pass, Definitely, I'm not gonna say adds some some trap to me because I'm, I'm really really full anxious ready to go. But it definitely puts it in a, a perspective of you know this could be that day, this could be that night, this could be that punch, this could be that situation. The mighty sees it could be spectacular enough to get skyrocketed straight in there. I mean, let's be honest here. UFC signing a lot of guys that are, are a guy right now that was like oh and oh. That's there's, there's no reason why I know plenty of locals and, and I know a, a friend of mine Cass Walton has had this campaign going where he wanted to fight Sage Northcutt and I know that Cass is a monster and I feel like not enough people see the guys on the regional stages so it definitely 100% if Bauer can get everything on UFC Fight Pass like planned that, that would be amazing it would be but the thing is that's because they, I think they need it on there because it helps them as well to, to see these guys because it, let's be honest there is a lot of shows not just in the region where you are like let's think about the United States alone how many shows go on then you've got to think in Canada then you go down to let's say Brazil then you go to oh let's go to Asia and you know you go to around the world there's a lot of regional shows it must be literally nearly impossible to keep up with all the guys, all the girls, and everything that's coming out. It's one of them ones where I can understand where guys get missed out from, like your guy there. I can understand why the people get missed out because that's almost impossible to to keep up with them all. And and it's not it's not the UFC's fault. It's not it's not anyone's fault in particular. It's just the way life is. There's too many guys. It's too much going on, and some guys are going to slip through and so, sometimes it's about marketability if you can sell yourself a bit you can get yourself a bit out there online but I think this fight pass it's a benefit for the UFC and for regional shows to get the the guy who who probably should be in the UFC by now he might be able to shine get to that highlight reel get to that viral feed and bang there you go yep it's, that, it's literally that quick and, and look, your are fighting. Yeah. Guys like us, their life can be changed in a punch. Yeah. Exactly, man. And, and that's Definitely. the thing. Yeah, one punch, viral, bang, it's out there. Goes all over Twitter, Facebook, uh, what else is there? Instagram. You know, it goes out everywhere. And then that's it. That's all it takes. You know, it, it, starts, a, it starts a fire. Uh, and look, you're fighting, you're fighting Col- Col- Coleman coming up on this card on the 27th Feb. And there's a chance there that everything could light up for you, man. So, look, have a great fight, man. That's what I'm going to say, tell you right now. Have a great fight and have a great weekend. But before I let you go, Samuel, can you give everyone at home a shout-out to, to let them know what your social media stuff is so they know how to connect and hook up with you? Yeah, man, definitely. Um, you can go to Ash, or Ace and Ash samples on YouTube and have a complete highlight video that's there. You can look up Ace and Ashley on Facebook. <clears throat> we have separate profiles. It's just like we have the same. Um, look up Ace's page. Everybody go to my page. Check that out. Give it a like. Um, let's see. Where else is there? Instagram at Team Samples 125. Twitter at 
team samples 125. And to all my sponsors, man, I mean, I've got literally companies on my back that are there because they know, <clears throat> just like me and you just talked about, that it could be right there on TV in a little bit of no time. Um, Dixie Painting Construction, Rick Allen does an amazing job, always having my back on anything he's painted, construction, anything. Big Dynamics in Athens, fight to finish, killer beard off for keeping my beard good and clean and big. Jersey Sports Bar, I got a great pre-hype, uh, pre-fight hype party there Friday night. Can't wait to see everybody. Malco, company we work for, best stains in the business. Complete Nutrition, keeps my body good, running, pumped, ready to go. All Automation of Athens, and Direct Paintless Dent Repair. Guys, it's hail season. It's serious out there. I mean, there's going to be snow. There's going to be all kinds of things. Don't hesitate to get with me and get these guys' numbers. They're right there in Tennessee. They can travel. They can help you out. Really fix your car back where it needs to be. Awesome stuff. Sounds like you've got some legit plate people there backing you up, and it sounds good, mate. It's 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 good to have those people helping you out. And look, last but not least, obviously you give you can give props to your misses. But what about you know other coaches, training partners, people like that? Yeah, definitely. Um, Curtis Barnett, and like I said, my taekwondo is going extremely wild. Chris Barnett, always there pushing me. I mean, he's 13 and 2 as a pro right now. He just got back from fighting for Risen in Japan. He definitely on a tear. Definitely, definitely on a tear. If the UFC had a super heavyweight division, Chris would be in there and be 100% owning it. Um, all my training partners, Benjamin Brown, one of the, one of my go-to guys now. He's fighting on the same night I am in the undercard. Uh, the guy's an animal. A work ethic like a horse. The guy is an animal. Clean, clean animal. My wife, definitely, Ashley, holds me down. She does everything I need. She cooks, cleans, trains, teaches, everything, everything, top to bottom. Um, that's, I mean, that's pretty much my team, man, my team and my family. They're, they're always there to support me, always there to support me. Anytime I post anything on Facebook, it immediately got a hundred likes with people that just I know they look at it, they seen it, and at some point looking through my profile, they're like, "Man, you get it." And I appreciate every last one of those guys. Look, Samuel, sounds like you got a lot of people there, a great circle of people that support you and they believe in you. Look, have a great time. Like I said, enjoy your fight, enjoy the weekend, and thank you very much for speaking with us. Awesome, thank you. I appreciate it. Anytime.